What's the haps? I'm Maroka, and today I'm going to be taking a quick look at Exterior, which is a, describes itself as a fast-paced fantasy FPS developed by Mysterious Studio. It's released uh, back in February, February 14th, and it's currently in the process of adding now this mode, which is survival mode, which is, I believe, supposed to be the meat of the game, so this is what I'm going to be showing off to you. Currently, the state of the game is it's got a couple of levels which are supposed to serve as a kind of tutorial for you, and then this is actually supposed to be the main thing. So it's kind of a survival wave-based attack thing. We've got these guys are going to chase around, and we've got to kill as many as we can before we die. It is a fantasy game, so whilst it is an FPS, we're going to be wielding magic. So I've got fireballs. Let's fireball this guy. And... We have five basic spells, you can see them on the top of the screen, he's dead. Uh, we have fireballs, we have healing, we have a fire stream, we have this black death magic, and we have a shield. They use three different kinds of mana depending on what colour they are. The fire mana we get from these kind of cups on the trees, uh, the yellows we get from these plants on the ground, and the black ones we get from the evil looking mushrooms. And the death magic will absorb some health, so let's do that to these guys. I'm not sure whether it's more powerful than the fireball or not, I think it's roughly comparable. The animation is almost identical actually to the fireball, I think it's literally just a black fireball. They've just recolored it. Which is uh, perhaps indicative of the rest of the game. As you can already begin to see, uh, the animations on these guys are not terribly great. It feels like perhaps there have been a lot of corners cut where, where, uh, where entirely possible. So, fast-paced FPS, you say? This does not strike me as being entirely fast-paced. Uh, we've got all these resources to collect before we can actually get into combat, and as part of the story mode, such as it is, if you get into a, if you get into a fight that's a little too tough for you and you get wiped out, you will lose all your resources, and you'll then have to spend five minutes walking back and forth between plants and collecting them all again before you can actually get back into any kind of competent combat. So, that's less than ideal. Uh, the combat itself, when we get down to it, is mostly this. Walk backwards away from thing, shoot fireball. They're, the way they react to you... Oh, hello, you're big. Uh, he's going to make a mess of me then, clearly, if I don't get away and heal up. But I can do that. Uh, the mo yeah, they, the most they will react, as far as AI goes, is they will walk to the side to follow you. They'll sort of... They will sort of slide across the floor. Look at, look at that. Look at him sliding sideways. If I walk to the side, he'll walk side. He'll slide sideways to match me, or around this tree in this case. The pathfinding is and animations to match are not terribly incredible, and it's mostly walk backwards away from them, shoot fireballs, or or don't get stuck on a rock. Let's fire some death magic. Death magic will heal me, so that'll give me. Okay, that's a lot of things attacking me. I've kind of gotten in a little over my head there. Fortunately, I am faster than... It does seem like almost everything, so I can just, you know, run away from everything and shoot fireballs backwards. I'm not faster walking backwards, but I am certainly walking forward, so as long as you turn around and run away from everything, you're okay. Let's do some more fireballs. Matter of fact, let's... That is... Oh, hi. Let's do a fire stream. So that's a powerful spell. More fire stream? Come on. There we go. Oh, I would like to get away from this other guy that's chasing me. The shield, I'm intentionally hesitant, hesitant to use. I have it here, but I'm, I really don't want to use it because it's so poorly optimized. Every, every other spell in the game seems to work just fine except this. I, the game's performance is generally pretty solid. I'm getting 60 frames per second here. It, it's totally cool. That's all right. The moment I throw up this shield, they'll instantly drop way below 30. I'll often get 15 to 20 sec uh, frames per second. So I'm going to do this for demonstration purposes, but I'm not going to like it. Okay, let's do it. Okay, there's a shield. We get this one shimmery animation of it moving around the screen very choppily. It looks like an animated gif or gif, I forget what the debate came out on how you pronounce that. It just looked like an animated gif file it overlaid over the top of it and it might reduce my frame rate to at best 30. Frequently much lower, it makes everything look choppy and quite frankly I think any 
any combat advantage it would give you by reducing the damage you take is entirely negated by the performance you're going to lose in combat by being bloody awful and not being able to see anything. So that's not great. The one redeeming feature I will say for this game, I mean, you can see, uh, if I can get away from things eating my face you'll be able to see it a bit better, is the lighting engine. Um, am I relatively safe? We look there, you can see as the sun sets, the shadow from that rock is going to grow lo longer as it moves across the floor. Which is kind of cool. I like the dynamic day and night cycle. As, as the day goes along, it, the day, day is going to turn to night, it's going to get darker, the shadows are going to grow longer. And that's pretty cool. There is even occasionally, it doesn't seem to be... It seems to be a bit temperamental, which is, you know, par for the course. But there is in fact a weather system. Although, quite frankly, the storms I've had, there's been some where it's started going rain and thunder. It's like, ooh, this is kind of cool. And then, ten, no, no less than 10 seconds later, the weather has stopped again. It's like, ah, well, I was expecting something cool there. And suddenly, it is ruined. So, got a big stone golem here. Let's see if we can't get some health out of him. And maybe kill him and get some score as well for it. This is literally just kill things until... Until you until you die and you go on a high scoreboard. It does not seem to be well played, I would say, given that the high scoreboard at present is me and the developer. So, there's that. I'm gonna die here, and there we go, now I'm on the high scoreboard again. Let's put my name in. There's a character limit, I would have liked to have put my channel on there just for a bit of cheeky advertising on his website, but hey, there we go. Uh, Morocco 103 is my high score. So, that's about it. It's, on the whole, the entire thing... Let's jump in again. Why the, why the devil not? The whole thing feels like it's kind of a mishmash of different things. If you look at the credits as well, that almost reinforces what I'm thinking. It seems like it's almost a student project or a game jam project. Something that someone has somewhere has used as a learning process. Something to learn how to get into games development. And they've borrowed a lot of free resources for indie developers, for there are a lot out there, and mishmashed them all together to make something that has the semblance of a game, but doesn't entirely work especially well. Unfortunately, that's the sort of thing you'd expect to be distributed around for free. Plenty of people do game jam projects or whatever, student projects, and they put it on the internet and they say, oh, here we go. It's, it's a bit of free promotion. If somebody enjoys it, cool, great. If not, whatever. But this is being sold as a full product for £1.99 or $2.99 on Desura and Indie Game Stand. And indeed is currently on Steam Greenlight, trying to get sold through the Steam system. And quite frankly, as it is, I don't feel like this game particularly stands up to any kind of scrutiny uh, and it would be worth your money. So, I mean, if, you're, if you think this looks like your cup of tea, sure, go vote for it on green light and give it some support. But unfortunately, like I say, it just feels like a, a, a game jam project, quite frankly, at best. Something that someone's put together in a short frame of time using free resources. The character animations and... Different, different parts of the UI and stuff are all listed separately on the credits saying, oh, I got this from this free website, I got this from this person. The final credits is, uh, music is by Josh Woodward, who uh, people who in the, in the YouTube community might well recognize as being one of the freely available artists, one of those artists that puts out their music royalty free for anyone to use for any project whatsoever, just so that they can get their name out there as part of other people's projects. But... Unfortunately, the whole thing feels like that. It's it's just a various amalgamation of different elements that only kind of work together sort of well, but not very well. I mean, just the way, the, look at the fireballs bouncing off these guys. There's, there's no hit animation on these guys until they're dead and then they just fall over backwards. The fireballs just bounce off them. They do damage, but there's no animation to give you any indication that that's happened. So the combat just feels thoroughly uninspired in that regard. Uh, normally, you know, you'd like to see something to indicate that you actually landed a hit, something to give the combat some weight, make it feel a bit more visceral, like you're actually, you know, spell slinging. As it is, there's nothing to give you that kind of sensation. It's just, it's just really kind of bland, unfortunately. So, yeah, this is exterior. With the upcoming survival mode, this will be released if you really, really want to get into it. Uh, May 13th survival mode will be available in this game. As I say, you can currently pick it up on Desura and Indie Game Stand, and 
the way things seem to be going with the Steam Greenlight these days, they'll let anyone in, right? Um, it should be on Steam at some point in the future. So, thank you very much for watching. I have been Maroka, and I shall see you next time. On an island. Who's talking? Well, me, of course. You didn't even open your mouth. It's not required here. You'll hear me just fine.